Hi, welcome to Dozo Term Online. In this video or episode, we are going to show you how to use USB console uh, through OTG with Atix, and especially on a board like an STM32 F429. And we have here uh, um, some Discovery boards, uh, the Disco or Discovery, and I am using the Disc One and not the Disco, so it's different uh, than videos online. And we're also going to show you uh, what you uh, can come across when you follow the videos already on the internet. Because uh, I had the same, uh, uh, I had the same problems maybe uh, that you have or will come across. So uh, let's see what's going to happen if we uh, try to follow the videos on the internet and uh, how we can solve that first we're doing a uh, make this clean just to make sure we don't have any legacy code uh, on our stack and then we are going to configure um, our the tool chain uh, to use make menu config in previous videos and also videos on the internet from Alan. Uh, you can see how you can do this. Uh, I think they were they are great videos, so follow them. So let's do uh, an empty or a, a clean build, and now we can go to menu config we are entering system type and you have to uh, address the peripherals uh, which you are going to use to make the uh, console happen so you are going to STM peripheral support uh, in system type and you are going to find the OTG full speed uh, option you click on exit and then you exit again then we have to uh, put on our device drivers we are searching in device drivers uh, to USB device driver support and you're entering this option you're selecting it and then you enter it and we are going to activate the USB modem CDC ACM support just by uh, pressing space and then you can enter it and what we were, are going to try to do is to uh, have a console console device uh, for our shell from Nutix uh, through USB so we have to activate this option and then we exit this menu and we exit again then we are going to tell Nutix or the kernel that it has to uh, yeah it has to it, do, it doesn't have to do the console through uh, the normal serial device so we're going to serial drive support and we are going to serial console and we are telling the kernel that no serial console is needed uh, through UART. So let's go uh, select that. You, I will do it again. Select and previously USART 3 is uh, activated and now you activate no serial console. Then you exit this menu, exit again. We are entering board selection and we have to enable the board control interface and also we have to enable the USB device controls to make things work so after we did this we exit and then we're going to save or exit and then save but we're going to save our config and we exit our make the new config the next thing we have to do is we're going to make our platform build our kernel
And here we have our error. It's giving us back that there's an undefined reference to USB suspend. Um, and you also see that's in the file OTG FS device. So what's happening here? Let's take a look at uh, the code from our board, the STMF429 disco. First, in the source directory, you there uh, has to be uh, some kind of USB uh, source code uh, because that is going to tell our kernel uh, how to use OTG. And when you take a look at the STM, that you're going to find that um, that the board is using high speed and not full speed. What you also uh, can have on a board, and I'm going to show you one. Uh, let's see, we have a well, maybe this this one. We have got another board, and like you can see. As you can see, uh, there's no uh, no extra USB connector on it, so no USB device can be connected on a normal way. You can do it through pins, but that's another uh, video, uh, and it only only has the STM ST Link uh, USB connector and power connector. On the STM like this, it has two. It's one on the Here's the ST link on this side, and on this side it's the USB device OTG. And it's also uh, saying USB user. Well, so some boards, uh, primarily they don't have uh, USB, uh, this, this source file, USB.c, it's not there. So you have to edit, and you also have to uh, do some stuff in app in it or bring up to uh, get your USB OTG running. But here in this case, you can see that it's not FS, it's HS, high speed OTG. And what is happening is on the videos, mostly on the internet, it's all about the full speed and not on the high speed. So, and what's What's happening then, and let us go back here, um, we activate it, just like the videos on the internet, our FS and not our HS. So let's change that. We go to system type in the make menu config, and then we, then we go to peripheral support. We select that, and instead of FS, we are going to choose HS, and we're going to save this config, exit, exit again, and exit. And then we are going to make, we're going to build our kernel again. And now you see that uh, our build is uh, accepted. So we're going to uh, flash that in our, uh, in the board. Let's see where I got the command here. Let's write that in the board. It's also it's ready. Let's break off the OpenOCD debugger. What also is interesting because when you are in virtual box, uh, you have to do something with your USB uh, device. And in your USB device, uh, something is going to happen because uh, you need, or you're going to need um, the device for your uh, for your console. So let's look at that. Uh, let's go here. LS USB, and we're going to. Uh, we're going to reset.
So we are <clears throat> we're looking at uh, if there's some device now. Um, you have to reset the bolt with the black button. And we're going to check if our Nutix, here it is, the Nutix CDC ACM 0. We have to activate that in VirtualBox if you are using uh, primary OS on your uh, computer maybe you don't have to do this because in LS USB it's already there let's do LS USB and here we have our CDC ACM mode. Let's see in def if oh. let's see if there's also an ACM. Yes, it, it has an extra as ACM one, so we can connect with Minicom. Let's see here, we can connect to Minicom. And there we have, uh, after hitting three times enter, here we have our nutshell, uh, like you expect. So thank you for watching, and I hope you to see you again in the next uh, episode.